Good afternoon, guys. It is Friday, the 22nd, December. Uh, quick garden walkthrough. Um, I started at the other end just because of where the sun is in the afternoon. It's better to do it from this direction. Um, on the bottom row, we get this elegant green mix. On these next several rows, um, they're tilled and sort of prepped. Um, the Swiss chard here, it got hit by the frost. We did lose some of it. I'll probably harvest off of it some today, maybe a couple of bags worth. Um, these two uh, rows right here have been prepped and ready to go. And uh, I'm still working on them, but this is part of the prepping. And you'll see how it develops, which ones get planted first. Um, this is that Elegant Screens mix. Um, and it's looking, it looks good. Uh, we'll pull some uh, cuts off of it. This uh, white globe turnip will pull. Uh, we'll be pulling roots and greens off of this. We'll be pulling greens off of the seven top. And these purple tops here. It, in some cases, I'm going to just be pulling just the roots and selling it alone. Uh, some of them, I'm just going to cut all the greens off of. But for the most part, all the greens are going to be off of this uh this week either uh cut and thrown away harvested with root or cut to put in with uh these greens here this all star will cut off of uh you see this rose uh getting this one actually will be one of the the next ones that's actually planted um this arugula will cut off of this is uh the latest all star mix and it are no Elegant greens mix that's coming in uh, the spicy greens mix is coming in pretty good we'll cut off of that probably middle of January early February um, this is a set of icicle radishes I just reseeded this set here with icicle radishes I think on the last video I told you guys that hey if this hasn't uh, developed and you can see where the green is a few pieces of green here and there those are the only uh french breakfast radishes that actually came up so i reseeded it with a different radish an icicle radish um and uh i'll let the few that did come up before finish up and then the other ones that come up behind it this is a uh a cherry bell radish this is uh it's the carrots and they're coming in really nice um this here is another icicle radish these two rows, this was the other carrot row that uh, we were done with, and this was that first icicle row that we were done with. Both of those are cleaned back. We'll replant those really soon. This carrot row is looking pretty good. Um, maybe middle of February we'll pull off that row. You see the chicken tractors are gone, and we'll be pulling the rest of that irrigation off and getting those. I'm gonna put three rows in there. Um, mustard transplants still ongoing here the beets down there are actually looking pretty decent to come back here so you can get a better lighting on it um the kale here actually looks pretty good we'll harvest off of that that mustard row is looking pretty good we'll harvest off of that um we may or may not leave that mustard row alone but we'll probably pull off of that mustard row uh that collard row yeah we'll pull off of it and that kale row we'll pull off of it also and off of that arugula row we may or may not need to pull off of this arugula row uh all right uh these rows here the strawberries are still there they're doing good and we're going to transplant those out i'll reclaim this row or i might leave this as just like a landing pad where i can actually put stuff to store stuff between the sections of rows um, these two rows right here ready to come back uh, I don't know what I'm going to plant there yet but these will be one of the, the first that I actually replant again um, this all star here we might cut some of this to, to buff the other all star we might let this one go for another week and only cut down it's really going to depend on how much I cut and these two all star uh, elegant screens mixes on the outside here the row one and two that you've been seeing since the beginning uh and I really want to kill them, man, but it's just so hard when it's, you can get four or five pounds off of them a week. It's, uh, 
it's really difficult to kill them. It's, uh, they're not nearly really that pretty and I keep stirring hoeing around them and I keep taking cuts. Um, I don't know. I, uh, I got so many other places that I can plant new that I haven't caught up with. The idea of killing this when it's producing something is, uh, it just doesn't sound like a good idea. So you might be getting these for a while. Uh, onion row back there is looking good. You can't see it from here, but I'm going to show y'all a peek of that later on. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will be at uh, Seaside on Saturday. Come see me. All right, bye.